Alright, so we're going to do another story from Story Weaver. It's a free, um, open copyright site full of hundreds of stories, if not thousands. And this one is called Colleen Cat. It's by the same person as the one who did Naughty Dog. So I think we know their preference of animals. I will have to say, I do like kitty cats best myself. I am biased. That means that my opinion is kind of swayed is a little bit more towards one than the other. They're my favorite. But it's by Pratham Books as a publisher. It's a level one, so it's an introductory story. And the author is Kan Chan Banerjee. Illustrator is Deepa Balsavar. There's 12 pages. We're on page one. And the kitty cat is sleeping with little black blood and his tongue is sticking out in you too, too, too. Or maybe he's grooming his legs. <laughs> and he's got little mousies. Little kind of like pizza slices, actually. Alright. This is my house. Ma, Pa, and China also live here. Mm-hmm. Here, that uh, must be China. The best chair in the house is for me, but sitting on the lap is even better, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Look at your little belly scratches. Uh-huh. Sheena is my best friend. I wait for her to return from school. Just looks like Sheena loves her too, like she made a little orange kitty just like her. Look, this one's got a pink kitty. Looks like they're being teased. Oh, there's the doggy. I think this is the same house as the doggy. I keep myself clean without water. I do not need a bath like Tommy. This must be Tommy who does not want his bath, do they? Tail is down, legs are up. No, 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 no. It'd be good for you, Tommy. Don't worry. You're probably kind of stinky right now. Shh. Don't tell anyone that I am hiding here. One, two, three. Poof. Got you. The kitty cat's a hunter. Ma shouts at me when I bring some tasty food from the garden. Have you ever had your kitty cat try and give you a gift of something kind of yucky? It's because it's tasty for them and they don't understand. Science has shown that when kitty cats look at people, they look at them the same way they look at other kitty cats. So they think you're a kitty cat too. I can climb trees. I can jump. I know all the shortcuts here. They did a really great job of the pattern on, on a kitty cat here. You can really tell it, it's a ginger. Sanju lives nearby. He teases me. It makes me very angry. Oh my, sees. When kitty cats do this, when they stand up with their backs arched and their hair fluffed. It's to make themselves look bigger and scarier to try and scare off the threat. So, kitty cat is not just angry. Kitty cat's kind of scared, too. If you ever see an animal that's doing this, you should leave them alone because they are very upset. And they might hurt you because they're scared. Please tell Sanju that the tiger is from our cat family. We have sharp claws. Uh, tiger is much bigger than this even. My friends sometimes make a lot of noise at night. By then I am quietly in bed. A lot of kitty cats like to be with their humans because they're warm and cozy and snug. There are outdoor kitty cats, and they are often very loud. Tails can speak. 
Did you know how animals and birds tell us something by using their tails? A dog wags its tail when it is happy. It also does it when it's excited, which sometimes is not always happy. Um, when, say, for example, trying to hunt something, doggies will wag their tails because they're really excited. Um, so you have to be careful and pay attention to other parts than just their tail. A cat puffs up its tail when it is angry or scared. It's saying, leave me alone, leave me alone. Often we say, as clean as a cat. This is because cats do not like water, yet they are always keeping themselves clean by licking themselves. <laughs> now, kitty cats do sometimes need baths when they get dirty with something that's not safe for them to lick. Or if they're sick, or if they have fleas or something like that. So that's something that just normal licking can't help. But kitty cats are known to be very clean. They're very tidy creatures. In part because they are also something that other animals can attack or prey on. And so it's very important for them not to smell and for them to stay clean because if something bigger wants to hurt them, if they are clean and don't smell stinky, they're easier for them to hide. So, that's your little lesson today. I hope you like learning about key cats and our little clean cat here. Thanks so much for listening and you have a great day.